Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton Today 95 coming with another Transformers War for Cybertron video, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Walmart exclusive spoiler box, and yeah, we know already who it is. I mean, got some purple going right there. I mean, it's obviously a Decepticon, and you know, this is about a year late. So yeah, let's skip the formalities. Decepticon symbol there. It looks like an ammo box. Yeah, spoilers inside, and oh, it's Nemesis Prime. You couldn't tell by looking at the box. Way to go, Hasbro. You spoiled it yourselves. Oh, don't open this. We, you don't know who it is. Don't open it. Don't, don't open it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this open and check it out. And here we have Nemesis Prime out of his packaging. So, also there's the trailer. The Dark Star Saber little pink energon effect and tank truck as well as the two arm mounted cannons now these are all from amazon power of the primes nemesis prime from three years ago now which you know still uses the unused toxitron slash combiner war style nemesis prime head which actually it did get used on toxitron it just was meant for Nemesis Prime. Now we'll say the gray on here is lighter than you know, the ones on the Amazon one. Eyes on Giza are unpainted. So I guess we'll go ahead and go over the accessories before him. Uh, it's essentially the same thing. So you split them apart, flip that down, flip over the tail. So that's it for Giza. You can still plug him onto this little slot on the sword. So you got that sort of still based on the Dark Star Saber, or the one that Nemesis Prime had in Armada. Again, cannons are the same. The Armada-style cannons that would go on the forearms. They look huge on him, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this before or not, but they kind of remind me of the Axelon back here, just the way it's shaped. So, get that. Fangtron is a magenta, opaque plastic repaint of, or I guess recast. E either way, to different colored version to redeco of Slitherfang, which I do, the color on this is kind of growing on me, so I might get the Nemesis Prime stickers just to make this look kind of like something from Cobra. But you do get the gunmetal gray here on the hood and the head, of course the red eyes. No faction symbol anywhere, I'm pretty sure. And then this little pink blast effect, which we're going to be getting more with Skele or no, not Skeletor, um, Tricranius, sorry. Okay. That's what I was talking about. So here we got the Nemesis Prime trailer. I do have some toy hacks on the way to turn this into the trailer for Shattered Glass Prime. Uh, it's the same thing, but black. And of course, you got the teal with the Septicon symbol. Opens up, nothing inside. You got this kind of gun and metal, but gray plastic. You got the little drone here, trailer, so... Not a lot going on there. You can store everything inside. I just don't want to put it all in there right now. You also get this, which if you haven't figured out already or haven't seen any reviews, it's a tub of Play-Doh that somewhere inside is Energon cubes. So uh, let's go ahead and take this out. There it is. Very deep in there is a little baggy. of Energon cubes, so oh, I guess it's open now, so let me go wash this off, and there we go, so yeah, three little rubberized plastic Energon cubes, probably put these with my Insecticons or something, have them munching on it when I get, so yeah, you got that, kind of neat, they should just do, sell like little packs of Energon cubes like this, like varying sizes and everything, I think I think they could make some good money on it because I know there'd be people collecting these just for like dioramas and whatever. So, and yes, I admit I'd be one of those because they're on a junk cubes. They look cool. So yeah, got that. <clears throat> now as for Nemesis Prime. I didn't pick up the Takara one also because it was 
was a lot more expensive than this, but it just wasn't gelling with me. I think it had way too much of the teal coloring in the translucent plastic as well as the wheels. Whereas this looks good. I like the more charcoal black that they've got going on here, or charcoal gray, whatever. Of course, the red windows with the silver trim. You get a little bit of that teal throughout, which is subtle, but, you know, less is more, you know. Get the little red triangles here on the forearms, as well as some more of that silver through here. The red eyes, which, to be honest, looks a lot better on this mold than it does. Or then, you know, the head sculpt looks better here, I think, than it does on Prime. Even though it looks fantastic on Earthrise. You get an unpainted gray here on the shins. You get the silver toes. So yeah, pretty much the standard Nemesis Prime fare. And here is the regular version of Prime. So you got present and future, or possible future. Yeah, I'm, I'm half tempted to get a sticky note and just write variant on here for any of those who have watched Loki. So, yeah, you get two different, and see, here's what I've been talking about with the plastic with Hasbro. You get, for some reason, the past few years, up until recently, or at least now with Nemesis, we've been getting this weird kind of olive, brown, black, kind of weird hybridization of black. It just does not look very good. And comparing the blasters, you can see just how off that is. I really don't like that they've been doing that. I'm glad to see here on Nemesis Prime, it is nearly straight up black. Here he is with Earthrise, which, you know, I, I, you know, having this as my current definitive prime next to this, I, I'm happy that this is my Nemesis. So really happy with how this looks, you know, unlike this one, he doesn't have the super long legs, but you only get up there, whereas with prime, you get all the way out. So I guess I think I might've covered that before. I don't know, but yeah, not too bad at all. Like this is mostly just comparison. So I guess real quick, we'll go ahead and get this guy in truck mode along with the regular one and Earthrise and compare them. So be right back. All right, so here we have Nemesis in truck mode. And it's pretty much what you'd expect, a black, all black version of Prime with some silver, and red. I actually do really love all that red there on the cab. And of course the Decepticon symbol. And yeah, I mean, not much else to go on from that. So comparing them with the regular Siege version. So there you go. Yeah, actually more filled out for the rims there. You don't have the weird little notches. I'm bringing in the trailer, just fits way up here. We got that. And weapon storage is kind of lacking due to just the absurd amount. But if you want, you can store the cannons back here on the side, which actually looks kind of cool. Just like that. Take his ion blaster and put it back here. Or even, probably be better of all the space there to it. Plug the sword in right there. Doesn't really sit though. Put Giza in sword mode. Store it back here. It kind of sits there or you can just plug it on top like that. It is pretty loose. There we go. Then store that back there. So really the only thing you don't really have storage for is, you know, Fangtron, I guess you can plug him in right there and have him just kind of chilling out on top as Nemesis drives down Cybertron and Freeway and just slaughtering everyone. It'd be cool if you could put the trailer on with all these two or if they'd added just like a little bracket piece for all these weapons to store, I don't know. And these were definitely designed for the Power of the Primes version, so. But take these off and I guess we'll get into our final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts here on Nemesis Prime from the spoiler box. 
I really enjoy it. I love how the figure itself turned out as far as the deco and paint choice, even the, down to the choice for the plastic colors. I know a lot of people don't really care for this dull plas gray plastic, but for Nemesis, I think it works perfectly. Uh, you know, what few paint ups there are are chosen very well, and I do enjoy them a lot more as this than the Takara choices of, you know, extreme amount of teal, very little red. So, very happy to have this. Some of the accessories, you know, are kind of lame for this particular release. Like, you know, I don't really have much use for the arm cannons or the Dark Star Saber. The Giza Sword looks great. Like, it looks sinister and everything while also looking a little bit like the movie sword. Fangtron is a cool addition as well as, of course, the Energon Keys, but just forego the Play-Doh Hasbro. It's, it's kind of lame. But at least, you know, with the Megatron Skelivore upgrade or, you know, set... Uh, it's the last one, so, uh, now for spoilers, you know, just fair warning, uh, you know, I'll let you guys end here if you want, if you haven't seen Kingdom yet, but, um, all right, so spoiler warning active right now. I don't know how I feel about this guy being a reformatted by Unicron character, but kind of expressed that on... Stasis Lock last week, so I don't know. Anyways, really enjoyed this figure. Trailer is definitely going to Shattered Glass Prime once I get the Toy Hex stickers and non F upgrades in. So, hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to check out all the links down in the description Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm also on Twitch at Dalton's TFs95. You can go check that out, it'll be down in the description as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.